The most famous geyser in Yellowstone National Park is Old Faithful, which erupts every 90 minutes. But visitors to the park on Wednesday got quite an eyeful when an unpredictable geyser put on a big show. The steamboat geyser erupted for the first time in eight years. The world's largest geyser shot hot steaming water up to 300 feet into the air for nine minutes. No one can predict when steamboat will come to life. In the past, it's gone up to 50 years without a major event. Yet in 1964, it erupted a record 29 times. Yellowstone is located mostly in Wyoming, and it contains 75% of the world's geysers. The eruptions are caused by a buildup of hot water and steam in a natural underground plumbing network. I'm Matt Sampson. By a record-breaking mega swarm of 1,200 earthquakes in just one month. Since the swarm began June 12, there have been a total of 1,284 earthquakes. They've continued to monitor its activity. The largest so far was magnitude 4.4. Still, the experts say the risk of an eruption remains low with alert level at normal. Yellowstone Park, hit by 1,200 quakes in the span of only a month, seismologists say. In the most recent update on these earthquake storms, scientists have been monitoring since June 12. The researchers say there have been 1,284 events so far, the largest with magnitude 4.4. As the activity spurred fears that the supervolcano could be gathering up, gearing up for an eruption, the experts say the risk of such an event is low and the alert level remains at normal. As the swarm continues, they will continue to monitor its activity and provide updates as seen fit. For now, though, experts have left an alert level in the green zone, meaning activity is still considered normal. If it were to erupt, the Yellowstone volcano, supervolcano, would be one of a thousand times as powerful as the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, although experts say the risk is low of that happening. Yellowstone has erupted for 70,000 years, so it's going to take some impressive earthquake and ground uplifting to get these things started. This is what the U.S. Geological Survey explains. Well, ground uplifting has been taking place. My last video on Yellowstone did specify that. Besides intense earthquake swarms, with many earthquakes above 4 or 5 magnitude, we expect rapid and notable uplift around the caldera, possibly tens of inches per year. Finally, the rising magma will cause explosions from the boiling temperature geothermal reservoirs. Even with explosions, earthquakes, notable up ground uplift, the most likely volcanic eruptions would be the type that would have minimal effect outside the park itself. However, if it were to blow, that would be a terrible situation. The swarm has steadily persisted over the last few weeks. In an update last month, experts revealed the swarm had reached nearly 900 quakes by June 28th. And when the earthquake started on uh, June 12th, G USGS said it was the highest number of earthquakes at the park within a single week in the past five years. Yellowstone, 60 quakes and warning by scientists who find four times the magma under the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone's plumbing system is no larger, no closer to erupting than before, but now we have advanced techniques to map the system. You can see an animation of the magma chamber. University of Utah seismologists discover and made images of a reservoir of hot, partly molten rock, 12 to 28 miles beneath Yellowstone supervolcano, and it's four and a half times larger than the shallower, long-known magma chamber, so it's much larger than what they thought. The hot rock in the newly discovered deeper magma reservoir would fill the 1,000 cubic mile Grand Canyon 11 times, more than 11 times, 11.2 times, while the previously known magma chamber would fill the Grand Canyon two and a half times. You can see that it's over 
four times what they thought the size of it would be. Postdoctoral researcher Jamie Farrell claims this. He's a co-author of a study published online in Science Journal. The animation shows the underground volcanic plumbing system between the Yellowstone supervolcano in Wyoming, as revealed by the University of Utah Seismic Imaging, Imaging Study. He says, for the first time, we have the imaging, the continuous volcanic plumbing system under Yellowstone. This is what first author Xing Hua Huang declares, also a postdoctorate researcher in geology and geophysics. He added, that includes the upper crustal magma chamber we have seen previously, but also a lower crustal magma reservoir that has never been imaged before. And that connects to the upper chamber to the Yellowstone hotspot plume below. They also talk about the nature of the plume. This is contrary to popular perception. The magma chamber and magma reservoir are not full of molten rock. Instead, the rock is hot, mostly solid, solid and sponge-like, with pockets of molten rock within it. Researchers emphasize that Yellowstone's plumbing with their advanced technique and complete image of the system, carries hot and partly molten rock upward from the top of the Yellowstone hotspot plume, about 40 miles beneath the surface, to the magma reservoir and the magma chamber above it. Farrell says the magma chamber and reservoir are not getting any bigger than we have seen, it's just that we can see them better now with this new technique. Fan Chi Lin, who is a study co-author, assistant professor of geology and geophysics, says it gives us a better understanding the Yellowstone magmatic system. We can now use the new models to better estimate potential seismic and volcanic hazards. The study focused on Earth's crust, showing the previous known magma chamber about three to nine miles beneath the surface, and reveals the previously unknown magma chamber, a depth of 12 to 28 miles beneath the surface. Beneath that is the Yellowstone hotspot plume, which brings hot rock up from deep within the Earth's mantle. Now here you have one of the older images of Yellowstone. You can see how huge it is compared to Mount St. Helens. And of course we have many other Yellowstone chambers in the area. This is the huge supervolcano that they're expecting to erupt. They, have, they say that there is a 10% chance that this will erupt in the very near future. 60 earthquakes struck Yellowstone in the past two days and scientists warn that the supervolcano may blow. The unusual large number of powerful earthquakes that struck Yellowstone in two days caused scientists to fear that the supervolcano is about to erupt. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, over 60 earthquakes struck the area with magnitudes of up to 5.0 on Friday. Scientists have warned that the supervolcano, which is long overdue for an eruption, may be about to blow, which would wipe out large numbers of human and animal plant life all across the United States. And as IntelliHub reports, there's a very huge surprise in all of this. In warning us concerning the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, they're also informing us that the United States has an agreement standing, an agreement standing with four foreign countries to accept Yellowstone earthquake victims that survived this disaster to be imported and allowed in to, to live in their countries as earthquake refugees. Scientists currently, currently believe that there is a 10% chance that the Yellowstone supervolcanic category 7 eruption could take place in this century and is pointed out by theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, who appeared on a segment of Fox News discussing this. He told Shepard Smith that the danger we are now facing with the Yellowstone caldera 
is that it's long overdue for an eruption which Michio Kaku said could rip the guts out of the United States. He said that a pocket of lava located under the park has turned out to be twice as big as scientists originally thought. Well, it's not twice as big, it's four times as big. Scientists concur that the last eruption took place about 640,000 years ago, and the U.S. is currently under contract. Now, this is a huge news, with at least four foreign countries, four countries, all of which have agreed to house displaced U.S. citizens in the unfortunate event that the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt. Hundreds of billions of dollars are paid to these foreign governments in order to facilitate the agreement spanning a 10-year period from its signing. And that 10-year period ends in about eight years. It ends in 2024. An excerpt from the article of April 24, 2014 entitled, Report, Brazil, Argentina and Australia signed contracts worth hundreds of billions of dollars to house displaced U.S. populace when Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. And this is how it reads. The U.S. plan for relocation was formulated after a recent scientific analysis of the park revealed that Yellowstone supervolcano has a potential to violently erupt within the next 10 years. 10 years, as noted by others, including the famous astrophysicist, as we said, Michio Kaku. In fact, Prague, a Pakistani publication, recently reported this. Quote, It may take up to 10 years for pressure in the magma chamber of the supervolcano to build, according to Dr. Jean-Philippe Perilla of the National Center for Scientific Research in Grenoble, France. He says, It is the difference in density between the molten magma in the Yellowstone caldera and the surrounding rock big enough for the magma from the chamber to the surface to increase. The effect is the same as the extra buoyancy of a soccer ball underwater filled with air, after which it rises to the surface because the surrounding water poet. If the magma volume is large enough, it should go to the surface to rise and it will explode like a champagne bottle that would be uncorked. End quote. According to Dr. Saifo Matfetwe, the South African government has sympathy for the American challenge, challenging uh, the Yellowstone eruption. He says, we have our own challenges in South Africa. There are 200 million white people in America, and if too many of these white people enter South Africa, flying from the disasters of the Yellowstone caldera eruption, it will be a big problem for South Africa. Even though there is enough housing and infrastructure available in South Africa, it will destabilize South Africa and may even bring back apartheid. South Africa is not for sale, end quote. So Dr. Saifo Matetwe is talking about the racial problems that will arise because South Africa will no longer be a majority of blacks, black Africans, but uh, whites, Caucasians coming in, flooding in from the Yellowstone disaster. However, according to the report, Brazil, Argentina, and Australia jumped on the bandwagon accepting the request from Washington to accept Yellowstone eruption refugees. The calm before the storm started a few weeks back when researchers noticed a downtick in seismic activity just before Friday's swarm struck.